Oh, 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 oh. What's good, y'all? It's your girl Lola Brooke, and this is the Road to Summer Jam. <laughs> Lola Brook, Brook stands for Brooklyn. That's even how I got my rap name. Brooklyn, 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 Brooklyn. Born and raised in Best Star in the Faith Hospital. What up with it? Um, I mean, just the culture itself. Just being around people uh, that have a New York energy. Being in a element. And of course, the lingos go crazy in New York City. So that's why it's always, I ain't giving out no money to no nigga just for fun. Are you dumb? So I'm very much influenced by Brooklyn. I, I had no, it's in me, not on me. At a very young age, I was like eight, nine. Seriously, I was saying that I was going to be a rapper. It was always in my head. And even if it wasn't a rapper, I just always knew it would be an entertainer. So I would have journals, diaries, and I would just always write about my day. And then I started trying to make the words rhyme. So that's how the poetry came in. But... The poetry ain't last too long. I wanted to be a rapper, so I got straight to it. I was just like, the flows and the cadence meant everything to me. So, poetry ain't last long for you, girl, Lolo. It's a dog eat dog world out here. So, when I was coming outside in Brooklyn, I was trying to make sure I wasn't a um, chihuahua. <laughs> I ain't want to be a poodle. I want to be a rock waller or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? A rock waller. So I was Arr! outside. Hey, I was on bullshit. I was walking all day. That's what I was doing in Brooklyn streets. Walking. <laughs> and I feel bad for anybody that um don't like me because Brooklyn is they're not playing about me. I seen them, I seen them in the flesh, and I was like, oh, it really, they really do they big one for big gator. So, yeah, Brooklyn been treating me well, and I know they say New York don't really have hospitality, like that's like a South thing, but for some reason, Brooklyn been showing me so much hospitality. Like, is that like a, I feel like that's like, oh, wow, I'm the price chosen one like I'm I'm Brooklyn's kid I'm they baby I'm they daughter I'm Brooklyn daughter right now for real, for real. that's that's how you sense it up I'm they daughter you see Kim and Fox I love y'all so much thank you for being a big impact to New York culture not just New York music hip-hop rap culture in general y'all did a lot for young girls like me they're from Brooklyn I always thought that I was too aggressive and Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, only because people was telling me that, and it was people that was from the same place as me, so it was so confusing. But these two ladies right here from Brooklyn, and you could tell that they was from Brooklyn. They didn't change anything about themselves, and that was a big inspiration for me. I listened to Hot Nine on the radio growing up all the time. Like that was the station that you would just put on automatically. Like my mom would start up her car or whoever, that was the station that was on. Like, you know, straight to it. And um, I just always remember, go play, go play. And then like bombs and stuff. I'm looking forward to um, the crowd. I was I was one of the fans in the crowd, but now I get to look at the crowd and perform for the crowd. So the energy is totally different when you're in the crowd than when you're on stage. So I want to feel that feeling. I want to know. I want to hear the chants, and I want to hear like so much commotion, and I want to see the lights, and I want to see people. I want to see like white smiles in the audience and stuff like that. So basically, I just really want to see. Feel and see the fans.